guys how's everyone doing hope you're well uh what we got here this is the 038 uh, simple man sinless which i've just figured out it's an 038 super there's actually three different versions of the 038 you had your basic 038 which most of those are metal tanked i had one once converted it over to a magnum it was a lot of work um it's kind of like doing a big bore kit on an 064 You've got to split the cases, you got to fit your piston to the cases. Long story short, it was a lot of work. Had to modify the bolt holes on the cylinder head, but um, the Super's 50 millimeter. Uh, the plain 038 AVs, uh, 60, 61 cc's, I think. 48 millimeter, basically the same boring stroke as a. Uh, 036 or MS360 and then this is I think it said 66.7 cc's so basically 67 cc's we don't really have a saw that size so that's good um, I think once we port it it'll be a mean saw which to my understanding these were really strong saws in their day anyway we're gonna find that out in a little bit. I've already got a bar and chain sitting there short and ready to go. Gonna make a few test cuts with it. But um, what I've done was pulled the muffler to inspect the cylinder. It looks great. Piston still looks good. Just quite a bit of carbon, but on a saw this old, that's normal. I'll see if I can zoom you guys in. Keep you in frame. I've not got you in frame. <laughs> You'll have to excuse that old hound. He likes to bark. There we go. Said a lot of carbon, but that's no big deal. Um, I'm not going to be able to get a good angle on that piston with the light. You can kind of see it there. She looks good piston and it still looks good. Cylinder looks really good. Um, should be a nice candidate to port. Maybe when I tear it down I might try to locate a meteor piston or maybe another OEM piston. A lot of these really old nicer saws. I don't really care for putting aftermarket stuff in them. I'm just kind of weird that way. Um, the 066 that I've done is full of aftermarket parts, but the cases on that saw, somebody probably drug them out of a dump. They were busted. I had to do repairs on them. It just, it was a good candidate to do that with, but that saw does have OEM cases and OEM crank in it, and probably a mix match OEM and aftermarket parts, but mainly stock parts in it. But the 064 I've done, Everything in that's OEM except for the Meteor Piston and doing a build like that's just not cheap to do. My little 026 is the same way. Um, it just is what it is, but um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut you guys off. I'm going to uh, put a muffler back on this thing. Go out back, see if she'll make a cut.
guys as you can see she cuts and I was not expecting it to cut as well as it does it is one of the strongest bone stock saws I've ever had in my hand but I think a lot of that has to do with how much dang compression the saw has I'm tempted to put a gauge on it just to see where it's at but I doubt I will I usually don't really care about that <coughs> you can usually tell whether they have good compression or not but um this saw is a ripper. It does cut. Um, I may take it out and run it some and cut some with it because it's all and good. Saw idles good and it pulls like a dang freight train in a piece of wood. Um, <laughs> was not expecting it. Um, I did pull out the 038 kit saw, the one that had the screwed up cylinder that it probably should have been thrown away and after this it probably will be I'm gonna look into a different top end for that saw uh, because this one beat it by over three seconds on the same piece of wood this saw is running a shorter bar but in a piece of 15 inch wood it's really not that big of a difference uh, both have the same chain it's Archer 50 gauge 3 8 uh, chisel bit um, the other saw is 20 inch, but like I said, I don't think it's that big of a difference. Um, this saw's turning about 11 8. I've not touched the carburetor, but I did put a tack on it just to see if maybe it was revving that much faster than the other one. Uh, they're both turning about the same. Um, if I try to go over 11 8 on the kit saw, I just don't get a good clean four stroke at all. And it goes to falling on its face and losing power. Um, something to think about when you guys are leaning your saws out. Um, <laughs> if it ain't four stroking out of the wood, it's dangerous and could seize things up. And, you know, that's not just my opinion. That's the fact of the matter. Um, that extra fuel needs to be there. But um, that said, I'm going to run that kit saw a little more. It's only got about a tank of fuel run on it. The rings haven't even seated. And a lot of times they will fatten up once the rings seat. And you're able to turn them up a little more. But um, with the port work that is done to that, that thing should turn 14 grand out of the wood in four stroke. And it just, it's just not going to ever do it. Or 440 does, the 372 will, the 660 I done will. Um, all the other saws I've done do what they're supposed to do, but that one just, it's, I've not had it on video a lot. Um, it's kind of in the same boat as that 028 Super. Um, that's Farmer Tech top end on that one too. We got that saw to run a lot better than stock, but it's just still not where I'd want it to be and probably never will be. Probably just worrying too much about it, but, um. Sometime in the future, we probably will pick us up a different top end for that, the 380 kit saw. Um, <laughs> being that this 40-year-old uh, stock one just whipped all over it. But um, anyway, I just thought I'd shoot a quick little video showing that. Hope you guys enjoy it and get a laugh out of it. Uh, Y'all stay safe and have a good one.